Calculate the sum of all positive divisors of 27,000. The easiest thing that I can think of doing is first take the prime factorization of 27,000. And then that'll help us kind of structure our thought of what all of the different divisors of 27,000 would have to look like. So 27,000 27, is the same thing as 27 times 1,000, which is the same thing as 3 to the third times 10 to the third. And 10 is, of course, the same thing as 2 times 5. So this is the same thing as 2 times 5 to the third, or it's the same thing as 2 to the third times 5 to the third. So 27,000 27, is equal to 2 to the third times 3 to the third times 5 to the third. So any divisor of 27,000 is going to have to be made up of the product of up to three twos, up to three threes, and up to three fives. So let's try to look at all the combinations and think of a fast way of summing them. So let's just say it has no fives in it. It has no fives in a divisor. So if it has no fives, then it could have up to three, up to three twos. So let's say it has zero twos. So I'm just going to take the powers of two. So if it has zero twos, then we'll put a one here. If it has two twos, then it has to be divisible by four. If it has three twos, it's going to be divisible by eight. When I say three twos, I mean two times two times two. Now let's do it with the threes. Let's do it with the threes. If you have, oh wait, I forgot a power. If you have zero twos, it means it's just divisible by one from a looking at the twos. If you have two two if you have one two, it's divisible by just two. If you have two twos, you're divisible by four. And if you have three twos, and when I mean that I'm saying two times two times two, that means you're divisible by eight. Now let's do the same thing with three. From the point of view of the three, if you have no threes, that means at least you're divisible by one. If you have one three, that means you're divisible by three. Two threes or three times a three means you're divisible by nine. If you have three threes, it means you're divisible by 27. So let's look at all of the possible combinations. And, and for this grid that I'm going to generate right here, we assume that you're not divisible by 5, or you're only divisible by 5 to the 0 power. So what are all the possible numbers here? Well, you have 1 times 1 is 1. That's divisible by 1 and 1. You have 1 times 3, which is 3. 1 times 9, which is 9. 1 times 27, which is 27. So these are all the numbers that are divisible by, that have up to three threes in them, from 0 to three threes in them. And they have no twos in them. If you throw another 2 in here, you're essentially going to multiply all of these numbers by 2. If you throw another 2 in here, you're going to multiply all of these numbers by 2. Now before I do this, because I want to do this as fast as possible, I could figure out what these numbers are. I could multiply them. But instead, let's just take the sum. Let's just take the sum here of this row, of this first row that we just did. We have 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27. 3 plus 27 is 30. 1 plus 9 is 10. So this is going to be 40. Now, whatever these numbers are, they're all going to be 2 times these numbers. So the sum is going to be 80. And the sum over here is going to be 2 times the previous row, because here we multiplied by 2, here we're multiplying by 4. So it's going to be 160. And over here, we just multiply by 2 again. It's going to be 320. Or another way of thinking about it, whatever the sum is here, it's going to be 8 times the sum of the first row. And I could, just so you know what I'm doing, I could actually put numbers here. This number here would be 8, 24, 72, and whatever, 8 times 27. How was that? 160. 160 plus 56, so it's 216. But we don't want to do that. We just have to think about the sums. So if you think about all of the divisors of 27,000 that are not divisible by 5, so they're only divisible by 5 to the 0th power, I guess you could say it, we have now figured out their sum. It's going to be the sum of all of these rows. So if you take 40 plus 80, you have 120 plus 160 is 280 plus 320 is is 600. So this is the situation. These are this is the sum of all of the combinations of the 2s and the 3s that don't have any 5s in them. Now, if you took the same combination of 2s and 3s, if you took the same combination of 2s and th so these added up to 600. Let me write it over here. These added up to 600. So no 5s. No 5s. Now, if you did the same exact thing that we just did here, but we just multiplied everything by 5, so we'd then be looking at all of the combinations that have this many 2s and this many 3s and one 5, what would happen to this sum? Well, it would just 
we would just multiply it by 5. So let's multiply that by 5. So you multiply 600 by 5, you get 30 with two uh, zeros. And so this is 1, 5. 1, 5 in the prime factorization of the divisors. 1, 1, 5. Just like that. Now if I wanted two fives, I could just multiply by 5 again. So if I multiply by 5 again, I get 15, 15,000. 15,000. This is two fives. Two fives. Another way of thinking about this, if I just multiply this whole every term here by 25, which is essentially multiplying by 5 times 5, this sum is going to be 600 times 25, which is 15,000. Now if I have three fives, if I have three fives, then I could just multiply this by 5 again. 5 times 15 is 50 plus 25 is 75. So it's 75, 75,000. So now I know all the sums. If I have no fives, the sum of all the divisors is 600. I have 1, 5, 3,000, so on and so forth. So if I want the sum of everything, I just take the sum of these numbers. Let me scroll down a little bit. So I get, well, I have 0, 0. Then in the hundreds place, I only have a 6. And then 3 plus 5 plus 5 is 13. Is that right? Yep, that's 13. And then carry the 1. And then I have a 9. So I have 93,600. So the sum of all positive divisors of 27,000, 93,600. Hope you found that entertaining.